going on the friends? My name is Zimchit Jates, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars. Last time we got started with the game, and now in this part, we're going to make way to Mushroom Kingdom uh, to inform the chance that the bridge to Bowser's Keep is out right now. Uh, and I have an interesting story. Um, I kind of recorded the entire episode 2, and then I realized I forgot to save the commentary file, so therefore I had no commentary. I'm gonna have no commentary by the time I edit this video, and I and I'm kind of too lazy to post commentate this, so I kind of yeah, this is how it's gonna be for right now. Um, I did I did however record episode three, uh, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's make uh, anyway let's make way to Mushroom Way, and in Mushroom Way we're gonna be encountering our first enemies that uh, will give us experience. Technically, this will be our uh, third enemy. Um, our third battle in the game, if you want to count those, um, uh, if you want to count the Terrapins and Bowser. So, uh, yeah. Well then, anyway, um, so, um, we have Goombas. Goombas are extremely pathetic, because they have 16 HP. It does not matter, though, because no matter what dam no matter what type of damage we do, uh, we get, uh, we will always one-hit KO these, these enemies. Um... Now I'm gonna be fighting um, for this first area in the game. I will be fighting every enemy uh, so I can get some experience um, early on in the game, and that way it'll uh, bring me um, at a pretty decent level uh, later in the game. Because I don't want to be. I mean, yeah, it's entirely possible to be really under leveled and, be and beat the game like that. But I kind of don't want to do that. Um, Otherwise, I mean, yeah, it does put up, it does put up a nice challenge, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna just fight every enemy, uh, uh, as much enemies as possible for this first area, so I can get so that way I'm at a decent level. Um, so for battles, I will um for the most part I'll be speeding up the battles unless they unless the, unless they take long, then I'll then I'll then I will cut them out. Um, but uh for this episode I'm not gonna really do too much of editing with the battles uh, for now as of right now uh, just so I can um, uh, because uh, because uh, j just so I can make room for a commentary um, as uh, because uh, there is quite a lot to explain um, for, for this er for this er for this early in the game uh, these are th these are sky troopers or Koopa Troopas um, they act, they have 10 HP. They are actually really defensive. Their weakness is jump, so you can actually uh, jump on them, and then they do a lot of damage. Um, and Toad is being kidnapped right there, so I'm gonna actually uh, I'm actually gonna save him. That is the time hits element in the game. In the game, uh, basically you can actually block. You can block just like Paper Mario. You can block moves and 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 also um, time your hits. So then you can do more damage. Uh, if you time your if you time your defense uh, perfect enough, you can actually uh, you, you can actually take zero damage when uh, when you're blocking. So that's actually really awesome. Um, and this is the time hit, and that's the timing for uh, for physical attacking. Um, and if you actually time your time your hits perfect 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 enough, you can it'll it'll actually do twice the damage. So that that which is actually really nice. Um, sometimes when you fight enemies, oh, level up, okay, so, so I, okay, uh, so this is the level up system, um, basically leveling up, you obviously, you get, obviously you get more HP and you're more, and you're a lot more stronger in, in terms of stats, so, um, the way leveling up works is just like Paper Mario, well, unlike Paper Mario, well, yeah, just like Paper Mario, kind of, you can actually upgrade your, um, physical stats, your HP, and your special stats. If you want to get the best stats in the game, you want to go in the order of special stats, physical stats, and then HP, and then you want to go in that order until the very end, and that's and if, and that is how you get the best stats in the game if you, if you want to do it that way. So, in this case, I am in this case I am going to do that and do it that way. So I'm going to upgrade my uh, special stats first. As you can see, my special attack will go, uh, goes up by three points, and my magical defense go, my special defense goes up by one point. That's actually pretty good. All right, and uh, and I'm gonna take. And since um, I am on level, and since I am stronger now, I can actually take out that Sky Trooper w uh, with one hit for uh, in one hit with with one with a timed physical hit. 
which is actually really good. And then I'll and then also now that, and and now with good enough defense, I, I'll take one damage by these Goombas. Now now Goombas are really really pathetic. So there we go. All right, um, and you can actually make make way over here without fighting that Goomba, but but you're gonna have to anyway. Well, if you want to if you want to rescue Toad, that if you briefly saw it, you may have briefly saw that Toad is uh, being captured by that Koopa Troopa. So I'm gonna actually um, so I'm gonna actually go save him. Um, and as you saw, and as you saw, I got a flower when defeating that Goomba. There's actually five types of flowers that you get uh, uh, at, at, at random chances when you when you defeat an enemy. Um, there's actually there is HP max, which will heal your HP by full uh, to full HP. There's attack up, which temporarily raises your physical attack, your physical and special attack, and then there's defense up, which raises you, which temporarily raises your special and physical defense. Uh, there's Lucky, which you get to play a mini game at the end of the battle to raise your coins or your or to either double your coins, double your experience, or double both dep depends. And if you successfully win the mini game, uh, you that then that occurs. If you um, and if you lose, then you get nothing. Um, pretty much either either your experience goes down to zero or your coins go to zero. Uh, that this mushroom I got right here. Uh, do not think you just got an you just got an you just got a mushroom as an item. Um, mushroom as an item will heal 30 HP. If you get a mushroom outside of battle, you'll uh, it'll fully heal your HP and flower points. All right, and then we shall continue onwards. And then the fifth flower is a once again, which will give you a second turn, which is actually really awesome. Now these are spinies, or spikies in this case. The, these guys are immune to jump, so if you jump on these guys, they, it does no damage at all. Um, spikies also, uh, spikies will, uh, they have 20 HP, and that's pretty much, pretty much, that's basically the special thing for spikies. No really special, there's, yeah, there's no, like, special thing about them. Uh, you cannot reach this lag two. As you see, that lag two is too high for us to reach him. So we're going to just uh, so all, all, all the best we can do is just uh, fight his spike, the spikies. Um, if the spikies um, or well, if you fight like ten spikies in a row from that lag two, that lag two will actually stop dropping uh, la uh, spikies. But of course, for time's sake, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna demonstrate it. So okay. Anyway, we have one more enemy. I'm gonna fight this last enemy, and then we shall continue onwards. See, so yeah, after battles, for the most part, I will be speeding up. I will be speeding them, speeding them up, unless we encounter um, a new enemy, or there's something, or there's like a new move that I want to demonstrate. Or a new character I want to de de demonstrate, and do and and um, and then if I run to a battle that's uh, um, that's not that isn't necessary, then yeah, I will speed them up. Unless they take long, then I'll cut them out. Are you looking at me? My hammer and I don't like you. <sighs> yeah, he definitely does have a mean streak. I mean, Hammer Bros, man. It's a Hammer Bro. What else do you expect? Anyway, that flower tablet that, that we got from Toad, uh, you want to? I'm gonna use it. That, see, now we have 12 flower points. Uh, if you uh, you want to get as much flowers as possible because flowers will act because flowers will actually raise your flower points, which is really good. I got your hammer angry. A hammer doesn't even have a face, man. All right, bring it on. All right, Hammer Bros. They have 50 HP, and they have a special attack called um, called a Hammer Time, which does a lot of damage and it's really slow. Okay, so if you did not, so if you did not upgrade your special stats, if you did not upgrade your special, your special attack and defense on uh, by the time you level up, or well, or in this case you, or in this case you're not on level two at this point. The normal strategy what you, that you want to do is alternate between the two hammer bros. That way, that way, because because one, if you if you defeat one hammer bro. The other one will use will use Valor up, which will raise the, which will raise the defense. Um, and 
And if you and basically if you alternate between the two Hammer Bros by using if you alternate between the two Hammer Bros, um, then the other Hammer Bro by the time you use Veiler will have some HP, will have enough HP to a point where you can where you can still defeat him by using Jump. So with that, that is so that so with that that was a really simple boss fight. Uh, it, uh, well, the Hammer Bros can be really hard if you don't if you don't know what you're doing. Well, actually, any boss fight in this in this game are can be really hard if you don't know what you're doing. So, also the thing about time hits in this game, if you don't know how to do time hits, if you if you haven't learned how to do time hits in this game, it is impossible to beat this game. Just saying. All right. Well then, we made way to Mushroom Kingdom or in 11 minutes. It's pretty slow, uh, but then again, I was fighting enemies, so so it's not it's no big surprise that I, that I got that I got here uh, really slowly. Anyway, that hammer that we got, we're gonna equip it right now. As you can see, net as you can see, that actually raised our physical attack by 10. It's actually really cool. Which is actually really cool. So now enemies are gonna look really easy. Um, also, that flower jar that we got from defeating that hammer, bro, we're actually going to use it right now because it actually raises our um, our flower points by three, which is also really good. All right. Okay. Now this part, uh, you want to make you want to jump on Toad's head because jump up here and you get yourself a frog coin. These are rare money in the game. Um, I'm actually gonna try to show up as much of these as possible. Um, and that frog coin I just got, this is the only time in the game where, where you get, where, this is your one opportunity, one and only opportunity that you get for uh, for finding this frog coin. If you miss this, if you miss your opportunity, you will not get this frog coin uh, um, ever again. So I recommend you save before you do, before you even have, it, before you even chance yourself um, getting this frog coin. Anyway, go down the hall, continuing, continuing down the hallway. Mario has arrived. Alright. Hello there, Chancellor. Green Toad. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud I almost dropped my spores! Oh yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yes, actually he is behind all of this. Cause you see, Peach was visiting at my house about hours ago, as you mentioned, and then Bowser kidnapped her. Yes, Bowser's at it again. It is up to me to rescue her, yes, that's correct, but the thing is, once I made I made it to Bowser's castle, I found him, I defeated him, and then I was ready to save the princess. But then a giant sword crashed into Bowser's castle, sending me flying back to my house. That is correct. Then, I tried to go back to Bowser's Keep to 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 uh, get the princess back, but then there's but then that giant sword collapsed the bridge. Yeah, how I'm gonna? Well, how? Well, that's all you're gonna say? Well, how the, how in the world am I gonna save the princess if if there's no bridge for me to cross? And Mario definitely does not jump that far. Yes, you are definitely correct. A map, trust me, the map will not help you at all in this game whatsoever. I don't think maps, maps in most video games really don't really don't do much do much to help you. So now that we have the map. I'm actually going to show this. As you can see, this is the entire world of uh, of the game. So that pretty much give, hints you into what we'll be encountering throughout our journey. Alright, uh, anyway. Uh, coming over here. <coughs> and this is actually Toadstool's room, and this is actually her grandma. Yeah, Peach actually has a grandparent in this, in this game. Very interesting. And uh, apparently, when you look into whatever this is, you actually get a free mushroom. Uh, I don't. I don't. Yeah. Don't. Don't ask. All right. Well, the Volk guard's right over here. 
show me around, eh? Well, I kind of know all this. I kind of know this stuff. <laughs> well, maybe not this one. Uh, so yeah. So sometimes there are big coins and there are small coins. Big coins are worth ten. Just keep that in mind. So in case you're wondering when you get a bunch of coin, we get a bunch of big coins, and then you see that your coin counter is up really high, then that explains what that explains it. All right, so fla and flowers heal, um, will raise your FP points by one, and then mushrooms, depending on depending on where in the game you get mushrooms, uh, you get mushrooms in battles, you, they heal 30 HP. Mushrooms outside of battles will fully heal your your um, your HP and FP. Anyway, as soon as we make way out, come back here. Oh man, what is going on? Oh, there's a purple crocodile, and then there's that whatever that thing is chasing after it. Oh my! Oh man! Apparently, he does not have that ability to jump, just like Mario. Yeah, it really isn't fair, but what else can you do? And then when you cry, it summons the rain. What in the world? Can you... Man, I want you... I, why, why can't you cry for me, man? I'm in a drought here. Or at least we. Yeah, I'm soaking wet because you summon the rain. Man, you're man. I I would I wish you could do that more often. That way we man. If you if you actually exist here, you would actually you would probably help help us out of this drought. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. But and you also don't have that ability to jump. Yeah, whatever, Pink Toad. Finally recognized I'm the Mario. Very nice. So this guy's Mallow from Tadpole Pond. You are not a frog. What in the world? Uh, sure thing. Yeah, see, even the game knows that Mallow's not a frog. What the? What in the world? All right. Well, anyway, uh, so thing about Mallow, Mallow, as you see, Mallow starts off in level two, and um, as you can probably see, Mallow's stats are—he's not really as powerful as Mario, but you know what? He'll get there eventually. Um, and also his special move is Thunderbolt, um, which I'll demonstrate—I'll demonstrate that next time I run into a battle. Okay, so this is an inn. Whenever you see buildings that have a star, uh, that re that that represents the inn. And when you see an, a building that has a mushroom, that's that's an, that's an item shop. Um, and that's pretty much it um, of Mushroom Kingdom. There's actually a thing behind this house uh, if you want to go to it. it. Has some pretty interesting stuff. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, since we have Mallow, uh, first things first, you go, you can go to the item shop, and then, uh, and then there's, a, there's an, there is a hidden flower above th uh, this toad's head, and there's actually another flower here in this room, so I'm actually gonna try to go for it. Okay, uh, come on. Ah, okay, here we go. There we go. That's two flowers for you, which is actually really good. He seems to know everything. Oh my god, I want to know who this old frog Fuchsius is. Yeah, the coin is stolen. Sorry, sorry to break it. Is that so? I never heard anyone say say it like that before. And with that, we get ourselves a free pick me up. And pick me ups are actually really good because uh, when when you die, you can use it to fully heal your HP. Very awesome. Also, also we got a honey syrup from Toad when we rescued him from that Goomba. Uh, honey syrups basically heal your FP by 10 points, which is, really, which is actually really good. Um. Anyway, 
Uh, so, the, in this item shop, we have mushrooms, honey syrups, pick-me-ups, able juices, shirts, pants, jump shoes, and antidote pins. Able juice is a, is a, um, is an item, is a healing item that heals any status effect. Very good, but... Honestly, I never take advantage of, I never take advantage of this item at all because well, there's never really a situation where I where I need it. And I'm going to buy shirts, pants and jump shoes. Uh, I'll buy the antidote pin later. Uh, I'm going to equip the shirt on Mario. Um basically weapon increases your attack and armor increases your defense and accessory varies depending on the I depending on the item. So I'm gonna equip the, the jump shoes because the jump shoes will actually rate will actually um, be very helpful. It actually increases the power of jump, and and not only that, not only that, but it increases. But any enemy that's immune to jump will actually take damage from jump. So that's so that's an, that's another reason why the jump shoes will be very helpful on Mario. Um, the antidote pin uh, prevents poisoning, but. For our next area in the game, there's not going to be any enemy that, that will poison us, so I'm not going to uh, buy this, uh, so I'm not going to buy this, plus I don't even have enough coins anyway. Um, so, okay. Well then. Let's see who? Man, Mario could turn into Peach Bowser and that thing? Man, I want- man, he's a real cosplayer. Because I forgot my bazooka at home, shish, give me a break here. Like, I, 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 like I'm gonna believe that you, that, that you have a bazooka. Like, what is a toad with a bazooka? I mean, seriously, like, this game would not be E-rated if this- if- Really, that toad actually had a bazooka and used it. So apparently, that purple crocodile, his name is Croco. I'm gonna keep that in mind. That's something to remember later. All right, well then, Croco has now has has now revealed our next area, which is Bandit's Way. Um, unfortunately, though, that is all there there is gonna be for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, and next time we're gonna chase after Croco in Bandit's Way, in hopes of getting Mallow's coin back. Goodbye.